Hi guys, so we went out last night and I wanted to show you some things I picked up for the gym. They're really soft fabrics and stuff that will really make you feel comfortable in the gym. So come take a look. Here's what I got for the gym. I'm going to start with this tank top. And what I like about it is that it's going to be really loose fitting and it's a very soft material, which I love. So basically you just wear a bra top and you put this over with some leggings. And it's very comfortable, especially if it starts getting warmer out or the gym isn't as cool as I'd like it to be. This is perfect. Right now I do wear t-shirts. That being said, sometimes um, when it's really cold, as I've noticed, that sometimes it's actually too cold to start working out. So I love these little thin sweatshirts. And this is from a brand called Tech Gear. So this is Tech Gear. And it's so soft. I love the color. And it's something that you can wear as you're starting to work out. And then if it gets hot, you just take it off. It has little zipper pockets. I love the little hoodie. And I love things that zip more than pulling them over your head because it just tends to mess up your hair and makeup. And not that I wear that to the gym, but if I have it on for the day and I go to the gym after work, I'm not taking it off. So what I really needed was some leggings. And these are great. This is also from Tech Gear. And what I like about this, these, it's sort of a crop leg. So it'll probably go right below the knee. And it's a little fun color because I don't want to wear black all the time. So this goes, I can wear that, these two together with the black bra top and the little pink sweatshirt. And yeah, they're really, really comfortable. Love the print. And I like that it's a banded waist like this. Some some I have that have like elasticized waist. And those are good for when I walk outside and I need something that's not as loose fitting on the waist. And I did pick up a pair of black ones. Because um, I most of my leggings right now are full length and they're really a heavier material. And these again, they have this smaller elasticized waist which is great. And capri length. Love those. And then I also got one in sort of a grayish. And these I got all at Kohl's. And this one, I believe, is just a Kohl's brand called Perfect. Same as the sweatshirts there. But again, very thin in the capri length. And they're really good because I do a circuit training. So you want to be comfortable when you're jumping on the steps and moving from machine to machine. And then I got two more sweatshirts. And these are the ones that I had mentioned before that I want something really, really thin. I love this color. Sort of like a beachy sea green. And obviously I can wear that with the gray, the black. But the material is almost see-through. That's how thin it is. And if you can see that. And it's so soft. And it's really, really thin, which I love for warmer weather when I still want to cover myself up in the gym. I don't know how cold the gym will be in the summer if they have the AC blasting. But again, something that you start out with and it has the full zip, little hoodie. And I can wear this out when I walk too because I walk an hour and then I go to the gym at night five days a week. So this is great when I want to protect myself from the sun when I walk. So that's why these are important to me. And I love these. They have that little thumb hold on the bottom really cute and then clearly we have a theme here with this color love this sort of a cranberry color and has the white zip this also has a hoodie with this this is the same brand from um from kohl's really cute again the material is so soft very thin and that is great for layering these were in sort of the women's section and then this stuff was in their workout section so they had fila tech gear these happen to be all tech air stuff. And if you get some good sales too, it's really worth going there versus a higher end store where things are not always on sale. But yeah, those are the items I got for the gym and just for walking and being active outside. And even if you're, you know, around the house during the day on the weekends, I like to sometimes put on some of these things, especially the sweatshirts and just being comfortable doing your average housework. So there's an overview of everything. And yeah, leave me some comments if you have a favorite brand or what you like to wear when you work out. I would love to know. That's why it's important when you're looking for fitness wear that you're actually changing them with the season even though you're inside a building. It can be really cool in the, in the warmer months or it can be really hot. I mean, there are fans there, but you never know. So it's good to 
kind of see how your workout is going and what your routine is and then accordingly dress for that because the last thing you want to do is be uncomfortable while you're working up a sweat right who wants that so uh yeah that's so that's what i picked up last night Hello, my fellow beauty bloggers. We are in Panera Bread. We ordered some lunch, and I'll show you what I got in a minute. All right, so over here we have French onion soup. We have an apple, because we always get apple, not chips. And a Pontega cheese and turkey panini. An extra crunchy piece of bread. And I have the same thing. Funny story about the bread. He went to toss it into the bin. It fell on my plate. So I get an extra piece of bread. It doesn't come with and again, we get apples and not chips. And you get to see this sandwich. Hope I made you guys hungry. <laughs> Open up. I think I said this was turkey. This is actually Fontega chicken panini. It has raw onion, tomato, chicken, Fontega cheese, and little bits of basil. So good. Alright, so we are in Applecrest Farms, and look at the ceiling. They just built this farm about a couple of years ago. And they have so many goodies, baked goods, obviously a whole apple orchard. But this is what we don't buy. But then as we crawl up here, this is what the mama wants. This is freshly, I'm gonna say brewed or mulled apple cider looks so good. Show you guys that ceiling. They got a whole store and a little restaurant. And a little market. It's one of our favorite spots. We love coming here. So I'm just going to take you guys outside and show you a little bit of the apple orchard. So you see that way in the back. That we put some apples there in the fall. And this is a pretty big property. So if you ever come to Hampton, New Hampshire, look up ten, um, Apple Crest Farms. And there's this big barn that they just made. And they really have sort of a fall fest with the band cider and you can get your pumpkins and your apples yeah and this is a great angle from this side and gorgeous beams I love what they did with the ceiling the holidays we'll have our old, old cider see here's another old here's another old cider This, in case you don't know what it is, is an old cider press. Someday we want to do this. We planted trees in our orchard, or apple trees in our property, which is our apple orchard. But that is so cool. All right, so here we have a couple of home good finds. We stopped at Home Goods, and these are coffee beans, Kona coffee. It's a premium blend. My husband's really going to enjoy that. And then we found some really cool hand soaps. And I love these refreshing fragrances uh, in these hand soaps. So this is a deep, steep, clean, pure, natural honeydew experiment with argan oil. So I'm going to put this one in the kitchen. has a really nice, light, refreshing scent. And then for our, I think this one... We're going to use for our guest bathroom and it's kind of on the beach theme and this one is a Scottish fine soaps it's sea kelp, kelp sea kelp hand wash and this one I don't see the fragrance on it but it smells again it's sort of like an oceany fresh citrus smell 
And then this one here we'll put in our upstairs bathroom. It's Olivia Blake Wild Mint in white tea, and it's really refreshing. And I'm actually going to use this to clean my makeup brushes as well. So we'll do that. And then for our sunroom, we've got these really cute sea salt candles, and they smell so good. It actually smells exactly like the ocean. So those are good. I like these tall taper ones, and we'll just get a little tray to put those on. And this is another sea glass one. Oh my gosh, does this smell good. And I love the light blue color that goes great with our theme. So we have a guest bathroom and our sunroom is a beachy theme because we used to live on the beach. So again, some great finds at Home Goods today. So I'm excited to put those out. If you guys ever go to Home Goods, it's always good to check out their candle and soap department because you never know what you're going to find. All right, guys, so that about does it for this vlog. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys soon.